Many people think that uh, the problems of shoulder joint is on an increase. And to a certain extent it is true as well. Why? There are so, so many reasons for that. For example, if you look at uh, the youngsters and teenagers, you can see that uh, they, are, uh, they, they are more fond of uh, the sports nowadays. Especially with the adventure sports as well. Previously the adventure sports were prevalent in western world only. But uh, sports like paragliding, um, surf, windsurfing, uh, our youngsters are also, are also uh, attracted to that and they also want to practice it. And if you look at all this uh, sporting activity, the shoulder joint is the one mainly responsible for positioning your arm and hand. Why? Because it has got a, an increased range of movement in your shoulder joint. Nature has set it like that. But one thing is that you may have to pay a price for that. <coughs> Sorry. You may have to pay a price for that. If your joint is more mobile, it is also injury prone. So what happens in youngsters when they do all these uh, racket sports like uh, tennis or badminton or overhead sports like uh, volleyball or um, basketball or even swimming or weightlifting, their shoulder is subjected to enormous pressure and stress. So there's a chance that the shoulder joint can dislocate. And when it dislocates, it tears off its cartilage as well. So what we need to do is uh, to replace or re the cartilage back onto the bone so that it will be stable. Unfortunately, now we got the technology by which we can re the cartilage to back to the bone through the keyhole. We use something called bone anchors. Nowadays, we use biodegradable bone anchors so that the anchors will dissolve by itself once it's done its duty. And once it is, uh, the surgery is done, the shoulder will be unstable as before and they can go back to their sporting activity, any sporting activity, in uh, probably four months time. The healing time for this uh, um, surgery is uh, six weeks followed by another six weeks of rehabilitation. We will gi give an extra one month for sporting rehabilitation. So they can, our youngsters can enjoy back their sporting activity once the surgery is done. It's fairly successful surgery.